منشن إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما عليه الصلاة والسلام Indeed Allah send his blessings and his angels ask him to do so upon the prophet Oh you have believed ask Allah to send grace and blessings upon him and ask Allah to grant him You need a tissue? Oh you're reading the verse Yeah the translation And about the translation the, the, our, we, don't, we don't fall blind from any translation. We from Tafsir. That's why translation should be Tafsir. So let us go back to Tafsir. Its meaning is that Allah showered His mercy upon the Prophet and praised Him. Who says that? The Asghe, who says that? Imam al Tabarani. Imam al Tabarani was alive 360 Hijri, 300 years. Now I'm with the Arabic language with a pure, in a pure form. Still. Okay? Now let us go back to Ibn Arabi. Ibn al Arabi. Alright. Uh, peace of Christ to all of you. As you see, this guy, he is approving Imam At-Tabarani to explain the Quran for him. And he said he speak Arabic very well. And as long you are quoting him, it means you agree with him, whatever he say. Now, we will see in two seconds how this Abdul, he will change his mind about approving At-Tabarani. If we go and ask At-Tabarani about the chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7, where Allah, he said, that the women have a sperm coming from her ribs and the man have a sperm coming from his backbone. This is Imam Al-Tabarani and this is chapter 86 verse number 6 as you see and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. And as long you choose Imam Al-Tabarani, as you see he said it is, he was exist in the year 360. Imam Al-Tabarani saying, that the baby is born by two waters, which is the Quran is saying, the water of the man and the water of the man, woman. The water of the man is coming from his backbone, and the water of the woman is coming from the taraib. And here he continue, and what taraib, jama'u tarbiya, wa huwa mawdi'u al-qilada min al-sadr. And it is the location of the necklace on the chest. So, al-tabarani, which speak Arabic very well, and you cannot say to me now, you, you don't understand Arabic. He understood very well what Allah, he said. That women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs. And specifically from the location of the necklace. Now, obviously, At-Tabarani, he is certified by Brother Shamsi. And as long as Brother Shamsi, he approved him to be a high scholar who speak Arabic very well. Then Brother Shamsi, he have to explain to us how his God is being stupid and he say and he claim that women have a sperm coming from their ribs. <laughs> and now what Shamsi will do? He will say at Tabarani he don't speak good Arabic or he will say that Tabarani at that day he was taking hashish from Morocco. Same time, when those Muslim Abdul, they keep talking, trying to defend Muhammad Hijab, who made a poo-poo and he made it clear that Allah he pray for, he don't pray to. Are they really successful? If we go to the, to the verses we are talking about in the Quran, you will see that all the explanation Muslim they try to give, it's not working. Because this guy, he's saying that Allah he is showering the Prophet on a blessing. Uh, that is... A joke. Why? <clears throat> because if you read the verse with me, you will see how the verse itself exposing the Muslims lies about this verse. If Allah is showering the Prophet with blessing, then what is the need of the angels and the believers to shower him with blessing? Because if Allah blessed him, no one else need to bless him because nobody can bless you anyway. You see, when I say bless you, I mean may God bless you. But if God already blessed you, that means I'm being stupid and I should not say that because already you are being blessed. And there is no need to ask for more blessing because that will not ask for more blessing. It is just a stupid thing. So if you see here the Muslim translation, even the interpretation, they are trying to avoid the problem. How Allah, he say that Allah and the angels, they are, they are praying on the Prophet. And, you know, if we go in Arabic, you know, all the verses who use the word Salah, as an example, Muhammad Hijab himself, he used chapter 9, verse 103, and he said it says the exact word. 
exact word salli alayhim and you can see the video i made for muhammad hijab where he himself quoted this verse to explain that verse and he said it's exactly the same meaning is that mean allah is that mean the prophet worshiping worshiping the believers but if we're going to see what his exact meaning is 103 you will see it says it clearly that he pray there is no blessing in this in this case it's a joke it's a lie here we go this is the choice of muhammad hijab which he chose of their goods take arms and you know so you can purify them certify them and pray in their behalf this is what the word salli on it is not a blessing on muhammad is a praying on your behalf and how muhammad he pray on your behalf because he's a scumbag because there's nobody can pray in the behalf of somebody because you paid him as you see those people they pay muhammad and he pray in their behalf how you can pray in the behalf of somebody so if you are rich you do not need to pray no more i pay you you pray in my behalf and then you sanctify me if we go to the verse we are talking about verse number 56 here the verse he is saying that this is not about allah praying that will be stupid because again allah if he is blessed muhammad and shower him then he do not need anyone else because allah is the one is asking the the, the, the angels to do blessing allah and the angels look they are doing the blessing, sending the blessing. If Allah, he blessed him already, that's it. Who need the angels? What the angels can do? What the angels can do to the blessing of Allah? Can angels make a blessing of their own? No. If Allah blessed him already, it's a decision is made. And then if the angels are going to bless him, that's mean they are going to ask Allah to bless him. So what the point of this stupidity? And then the, 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 the drama continue. And then, oh, who you believe, send the blessing. This is, doesn't say blessing. It says, salli, pray, ask, pray. This is stupid. It doesn't say blessing. Because the, the believers cannot bless Muhammad. The only one can bless in this case, if it is exist, it is Allah. The rest, they cannot bless anyone. If your mother, she said to you, bless you, doesn't mean she is blessing you really. She is saying, may God bless you. Blessing come only from God. So what is the need of the rest? So when they when they switch to the word of blessing, they screw it and they make it more funny and more stupid. The real it is in Arabic, it is Salla wa Yusalli. And you can search in the whole Quran, you will not find one translation for the word salah coming as a blessing except here. Because the Muslim they are in big chaos trying to explain how Muhammad made a poo-poo when he said that Allah he pray, if Allah he is the only God as they believe. And this is why we say Islam is a stupid religion. And don't forget Mr. Samsi, Samshi, to explain to us how your Tabari, your favorite Imam, at tabarani sorry, your favorite Imam, explain that the women, she have a sperm coming from her ribs. Remember, you are the one who chooses Imam, and you are the one who said this is, he is, speak Arabic perfectly, and he is, exists 360 years after Muhammad, which means he is very approved by you. And not only that, your Imam, as the Quran says, that the man have a sperm coming from his backbone, which is very stupid too, because bones is not where the sperm coming from, and it's not from the backbone anyway. And women, they have no sperm. And this is a stupid statement of your prophet. Don't forget to join us. Click at the link you see in the banner there, or the type it in your browser, so you can join us live when we are live on air. Thank you very much, and may the Lord bless you. Thank you.